YouTube, YouTube is Papa Man OG back with another video, man. Today we got another rebuild for y'all, man. I think we're doing the OKC Thunder today, man. Smash likes, smash follows, man. Click on the video, man. Follow this TikTok, follow the YouTube shorts. We post every single day rebuilds and shit. So tap in today. We're doing an OKC Thunder rebuild. Let's get into it. Shay, Giddy, J Dub, Lou Dope, Poku, Chet, my boy J Dub, other J Dub, uh, Isaiah Joe. Whole lot of young potential. I love what this team is on the right track of. This is a nice little rebuild we doing, man. Case and Wallace. I'm a big face fan of Case and Wallace. Trey, man. They got Ole Depot. For y'all Thunder fans out there, man, y'all are in the best spot in the league, bro. Y'all are in the best spot in the league. I am a big fan of Shea. I love Giddy. I love J Dub. I, I really a big fan of this team. So you know how we do year one, we kind of just go through the year. No, don't really make any crazy trades. Because if we come over here, we take a look at the roster. This what, what is the rotation this is going to be. Chet's going to be starting. JW the four. Lou Dort. Yeah, I can start. That's cool. All right, so, I mean, we kind of go through and see here. Um, Poku is cool. We're play, probably going to play Poku with the four. JW probably going to get some minutes too. And then, honestly, I wouldn't hate playing Case and Wallace these, like, like 15 minutes for year one, bro. But, like, there's, there's, you look at the roster down here, bro. There's so many players that just aren't playing. Like, JRE. I like JRE. He should probably play uh, that we can get. I'm going to move Bertans. We're going to sim this year. We might make a move at the deadline. But usually, I like to keep year one kind of chill. We look at System Pro for year one. We'll probably have nothing for a star. We'll probably rock. We can rock seven seconds. I think this team will be cool with seven seconds. All right, we're going to sim to the deadline. I'm going to see y'all at the deadline, see if we want to make any moves. All right, y'all, halfway through the year, the trade deadline is here. You take a look at the standings, and this team is the 3C, bro. So, OKC okay, team is the 3C with 32 wins. This almost makes me want to make a move right now because we have so many players that we can just get so much better right now. Take a look at the stats halfway through. Shea's having an MVP year. Uh, Giddy's shooting the ball okay from three. He's scoring a lot, though. Almost averaging a triple-double is crazy. Some of these players I just don't see, like... Like Trey Man, I don't see being there. Kind of want to take a look if there's any teams selling. We could look for like a stud shooting guard to pair up with Shea. If I could go get Anthony Edwards right now, I will. And I think we low-key might have enough too. He is four and a half stars. I think I would have to give up one of these top three guys. I'll start it with Poku. And I would also give them... I feel like this might be close to getting done as we give that Clippers picks also two and a half stars. I don't want to give up J-Dub, but if we had to, we had to. <sighs> I think getting a player like Anthony Edwards would be insane. To pair next to Shea, I would give him a future first. Ooh, I would give him another first. No. Another first. Bang! That trade goes through. Whoa! Monster blockbuster deal we just made at the fucking deadline. Let's go see what we just gave up to get him. We trade Trey Mann, one, two, three, four first round picks in Jalen Williams, and we get Anthony Edwards to pair with Shea in the backcourt. Then picks the trade. You know we had to make a move somewhere. I didn't think it was going to be in year one, but goddamn, I had to. Giddy's looking great there. The top three now. Chet's going to be improving now. Off the bench, we're going to have, I think, Poku. One of these guys moved to a four. I don't want to start JRE. I could just fucking say start start Chet at the four. I could just say this. Fuck it. Start Chet at the four. Why not? Why not start Chet at the four? And I think that's what I'm going to do. We're going to start Chet at the four. I'll start J-Dub at the five. I'll have Poku getting about 24. We'll go Lou Dort. And I'll go Lou Bordor about 24. We'll go about 20, 20 there. Isaiah Joke about 18. I think we want Case and Wallace to play them last 16 minutes. So this is the lineup that we're working with after the deadline. Shea, Anthony Edwards, Giddy, Chet at the 4 now, and J-Dub at the 5 with Dort, Poku, Isaiah Joe, and Case and Wallace off the bench. I mess with that. I mess with that. This backcourt is going to be the best in the league next year or the year after. And we just had to set this up as Shay and Ant are going to be going off. All right, y'all. Season's a wrap. Luka is your MVP. 30-point triple-double. Wemby's your uh, rookie of the year. Scoot, six man of the year. Giannis, Depoy, even Mobley, Depoy, or in most improved player. You see all NBA teams. We got nobody here. We got nobody on all NBA team. Josh Giddy makes all NBA third team. 18, 10, and 9. Almost averages a triple-double in year one. And we were the two seed in the Western Conference. You take a look here. Two seed right behind the Grizzlies. 52 and 30. Solid record overall in year one. Ant leads us with 26, 6 and 4 and 5. Shea's there with 24, 5 and 9. Shooting the ball real well. Ant's a stud. Giddy's there. Obviously, solid season. Chet had a solid year. Lou Dort had a pretty solid year. Poku, good year shooting. 
J Dub solid. Isaiah Joe shot the ball really well. Casey Wallace played okay. We're going eight for now. We're playing eight guys for now. I think it should be okay. Going up against the Lakers in the first round, tough matchup. You know who the Lakers got, man. Loaded roster. They got Draymond now on a team. Game one, we do take by about 15. As Ant goes off, Shea goes off, Giddy goes off. Game two against LA. We pick that one up. We go up two to one. Go up three to one. We got out of there in five. Nope. Lose by three. Rehashi Moore gives us a good game as we got a game seven in year one. Going to Simcast here in round one. We have a great start to the first quarter. Up by 20. And we blowing the Lakers out in this game seven as we gonna go on in advance to the second round. Put up 133 on them. Ant goes for 36 and 12. Or Shea goes for 36 and 12. Ant with 25. Chet with a double-double. As we got Dallas in the second round of the playoffs. They got Luka, Kyrie. And that's about it. They got Gallo at the four, but man, they don't, they don't really got it like that. But it is Luka, so you never know as he goes off in round one, game one. They go up 2-0. They go up 3-0. And we get, god damn, we get losing five in the second round against Luka in the Dallas Mavericks. So, okay year. I thought we could maybe make the conference finals. But for year one, it's not too bad with this team. And Luka goes on to the finals and he sweeps the Celtics. Says that's your that's your MVP right there. 44 and 15 and 8 for Luka. How can you beat that? LeBron calls it a career with the Lakers. As we go to the draft lottery, but I don't even know if we still have any picks. We traded away a bunch of picks as we still have pick 22 in this draft. All right, y'all. NBA draft is here. If there's anybody I, I, I'd like to move maybe here, it's probably one of these uh, big men. If we could package some of these guys together, even this first round pick at 22, I could move it for a future first, which I think I'm going to do as we will flip that right to the Sixers for their pick next year. We don't really need a first round pick this year, man. We got a lot of players to work with. You see here, we got our point guard situation kind of settled out. I don't know, man. We still got a lot of players. We have a mid-level we can give out. We do have a mid-level. We could go out and get a Spencer Dinwiddie just to uh, just to trade him. As I think we could look for a full-time four, actually, who's going to go and probably play some defense. Really don't need more scoring at the four. Looking for like a defensive-minded four. I could be interested in Evando coming in and playing some solid D at the four. He would have to get paid next year, but we can definitely afford him. We got to give them one of these big men. Probably going to be uh, Jalen Williams. And then I'll probably throw in some seconds here. They're probably going to counter. And I think this would just get done straight up as it won't. I'll give him the Sixers unprotected next year. Also give him a Heat Lauder protected in 25. And that gets it done as we pick up Jared Vanderbilt for the four. Um, and there's Aaron Gordon. Talk about depth at the four. We go pick up Aaron Gordon, and I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to be trading Dinwiddie, Kenrich Williams in this second over for AG to be our backup four. All right, y'all, we go into player progression. Hopefully see a lot of green as Shea's up to a 96, Ant's up to a 92, Giddy's up to an 89, Vando's up one, Aaron Gordon's up one, Chet's up four. And goddamn, does this team look dope. I think I would rather have Vando start, actually and have AG come off the bench with that second unit because um, that's a pretty deadly second unit as we're going to be running a 10-man in the regular season and have Case and Wallace just get some back, a few backup minutes a night because he, he he definitely deserves it. All right, y'all, this is the rotation for year two. Shea, Ant, Giddy, Vando, Chet, AG, Poku, Isaiah, Joe, and Lou Dort with Case and Wallace getting about nine a night. This team should be pretty solid. Like I said, if at the deadline, they're not hooping how I want them to be, we'll make a move. Uh, coaching is going to be, what is that? We're going to go seven seconds is four and a half stars. All right, y'all, I'm going to see y'all at the trade deadline. Let's just go through a few games, actually. All right, first game, we got, look at Jalen Williams going off at 30, man. I want to miss him and revenge on his old team. Let's just sim through a couple games, see how we do. And this team looking like it's going to be pretty solid as we put up 150 on the t-wolves shea goes off giddy goes off for triple double i'm gonna see how the trade deadline all right y'all we're 20 and 2 so far so i just had to show y'all that all right y'all trade deadline is here and this team is 46 and 8 best team in the league by a few games over the Cavs. take a look at the team stats for year one so far halfway through just kind of want to check it out we're scoring the most points in the league and we have the best def defense in the league with an 18 point differential. All right, y'all, we gonna ride with this to the end of the season, let's do it. All right, y'all, year two is a wrap. Mobley is your MVP in year two. Just goes to show you how cheesy this Cavs team is, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. Buzay, let's rookie of the year, Grady Dick. Oh. Pause, six man of the year, Wemby, Depoy, Cam Whitmore, most improved. And as y'all see, 70 and 12 is the record in year two with this team anybody on all nba teams we get giddy again back to back all nba third teams 10 assists for josh giddy the three-point shot goes up by eight 
38% now from three. He had a stud year. And you know, like y'all seen, we were the one seed, 70 wins. So this should equate in a championship. But this Cavs team also has 60 wins. We are 20 wins better than the second best team in the league. Gotta check off the stats here uh, for this year too. As Shea had led us, Anthony Edwards led us with 22, 5 and 5, 50, 40, 82 splits. Shea is there with 21 and a half, 10 assists, steal and a half, 50, 36, 90. Giddy, we saw his stats. Chet, 13 and 7, shot the ball really well this year. A big jump. Aaron Gordon was great off the bench. Vando was great as well. Poku even had a solid year. Poku shot 45 from three. Isaiah Joe, solid shooting from three. Dort kind of struggled. And Kaysen Wallace was there, had a great year when he played. So I do want to cut this back to a nine man for the playoffs. Um, I do want Vando to still be getting burned to start. They want to cut Dort's minutes. I almost want to play Case and Wallace over Dort. For now, we're just going to rock with it how it is. First round against Houston. They got a man Thompson, Jalen Green. That's a good team. I just, they might be a little far out, maybe a year out as we win game one. We, they do win game two. We win game three, win game four, and we get out of there. Oh, no. As we win in six. Kind of scary there. Kind of scary there, but uh, that team always gives us problems. Now we got the Pels in round two. DJ Wagner, they have, like I said, a young core, a better bench than a starting unit, to be honest with you. We go up 1-0, we go up 2-0, 3-0, and we sweep them into the conference finals in year two. Chet has a monster game, and the Cavs lose on the other side of the bracket, but we have to go up against this Dallas team again who beat us last year, man. And we got to go up against Luka and Kyrie with Corey Kispert. They have Capella and Vooch. So this team low-key got better. It's going to be really annoying if we lose game one. We do take game one. Let's go. Shea, big game. Game two, we go up 2-0, we go up 3-0, and we sweep into the NBA Finals against the Boston Celtics, who were just there last year and got swept by the Mavs. You know who they got? Brogdon, JB, Tatum, KP, Rob. They got Gabe Vincent. Gabe Vincent went and joined the enemy, Omer. But yo, this team's good, but I think that we're just a little bit better as we take game one. Shea goes off for 15 assists. Game two, we take game two, we go up 3-0, and we sweep the Celtics in four games in the NBA Finals in year two. Second year in a row, the Celtics got sweeped as Shea is your Finals MVP. So dominant performance in the playoffs and just dominant overall season for this Thunder team in year two. Want to look at the player stats in the playoffs as Shea led us with 27 and 11, and there was Ant, the two stars led us, as we're going into year three with a ring under our belts. Chris Paul calls it a career, along with Russ and Brooke Lopez, K Love, D Rose. Chris Paul, Russ, and Dwight make the Hall of Fame, so no D Rose in the Hall of Fame. Timberwolves have picked two, three, four. Wow, and 20, okay. We have picked six in this draft. So all them picks that we traded away is picked two, three, four for them. We traded for Ant. We could draft with this pick, <clears throat> but we just won 70 games, so I don't really see a purpose. We could draft just in case we lose somebody like a Poku or something like that, or a Lou Dort or Isaiah Joe, we could trade. Let's draft, let's draft with this pick six. Let's draft with this pick six. You never know who's gonna be available as I don't know any of these guys. Uh, I do know Ding Patel. Let's go get Ding Patel here. As we sign Ding Patel, who's a 76 overall. Pretty good draft pick, it's pick six there. As I, we do get Isaiah Joe back. But just in case he left, we extended the qual to him and Ant. We do have to pay Ant. We'll give him as much as we can give him in a player option. We also have to pay Vando, which we do need to do. Vanderbilt is a lot more important than him. As we can, If we can get Vando and Ant back, I'm cool. We get the match deal on him. We get Vando. We can still sign Poku to 418 as we pick up Poku on that deal. And we should be good for year two as we have one, two, or one, two, three four five six seven eight nine i'm gonna uh look to move monte morris um anthony black is there he could get better I, i'm gonna trade for anthony black just he probably has a little bit more trade value and going into next year he might do better or uh progress better so we get anthony black in this deal let's go play progression hopefully we see a lot of green still as we do ants up to a 94 giddy's up to a 91 chet's up four to an 86 vando's up anthony black went up five that's what i love to see out of anthony black we traded monte morris for anthony black and he became a stud so i think we might just run it back with this rotation we have anthony black getting pt now which is cool yeah he, he didn't even play last year but he's an 85 overall now 83 overall now so i might look to upgrade the th backup three if we could i don't know how this would do well i could go get scotty and by put him at the four scotty's what six eight he could play the four um if like i traded aaron gordon and the rat what is it the raptors would acquire 10 mil more 
um they would have to give us i would throw them poku i would uh do i really want to do all this man we'll, we'll throw in anthony black and then we can also throw in some for two mil which could be isaiah as it could be isaiah joe but do i want to trust a rookie here i would give them ding patel and we could flood it with picks as that gets done so fucking easily as we pick up scotty barnes on the team now which is od and he's gonna slide to player four so now what that does and he actually goes up and overall so now what bringing in scotty does is allows us to have vando and ag off the bench as i could literally go get devin booker for aaron gordon what the fuck are we what are what are we doing what are we doing bro i could go get devin booker for i could have devin booker come off my bench bro what <sighs> i don't want to do it i could go get a true three a true three in michael porter so i think i'm gonna do that i think i'm gonna do that deal for michael porter um it's a true three off the bench it's more scoring we're not gonna use dort anyway we still have him on this deal we're picking up mpj in this deal to come off the bench so now it's looking like shay this starting five with, with mpj vando poku isaiah joe and case and wallace off the bench that's our squad disgusting team we got some contracts to pay after this year i don't know if we're gonna be able to but we're going all in for this year we just want to ring as this team should be dominant probably not as dominant next year because usually when you trade for too many superstars in 2k it gets weird and your team really doesn't play like they should so we won 70 games last year let's see if we win 70 games this year i doubt it i'll see out the trade deadline all right y'all trade deadline is here again for year three and as y'all see man we are 47 and 7 so a game worse at the deadline than we were last year take a quick look at the season stats don't want to give away too much we'll show this at the end quick look at the season stats and i'll take a look at these team stats for y'all man we're scoring 130 a clip and we have the best defense in the league with a 19 point differential what the hell i'm gonna see y'all at the end of the year all right y'all year three is a wrap luca is your mvp again cooper flag rookie of the year shout out cooper flag assert thompson wemby depoy again jalen hood is your most improved player and as y'all see we are one game better than last year man 71 11 is the record man so another dominant season from this okc cheesy ass team bro nobody on all nba giddy makes all nba 13 three years in a row with another tennis this season he's a monster huh a lot better than every other team in the league look at the player stats real quick shea led us 22 10 steal and a half 50 45 90 and 50 40 80 season good josh scotty barnes had a very solid year defensively mpj was a stud chet was a stud chet really never like got to like that like level of insane just because we had so we traded for ant so he wasn't really the second option vando was also there poku was there shot well again isaiah joe shot well again and case and wallace had another solid year but as y'all know we probably gonna bump this down to a nine man for the playoffs denver in the first round denver as a one as the eight seed is crazy they still got yoke so anything could happen we go up 2-0 and we get out of there in five games going up against wemby in the second round J jp now in a squad pool braham Keldon johnson wemby and sabonis very good front court we go up 2-0 we go up 3-0 and we sweep wemby going to the conference finals shea with an 18 assist game bro conference finals against minnesota the team we originally made the first trade for who had all of them first round picks in the draft they were actually the sixth seed bro justin edwards ace bailey cat j dub they got a deep team man they got a deep team but is it good enough probably not we go up 2-0 3-0 and we sweep them going into the nba finals only last one game so far as we play in the atlanta hawks who finally make it with kobe buffkin no more trey young where is trey young they make it without trey young as they have Lori marketing did they trade trey for Lori? and did it happen this year hawks trade trey young for Lori marketing and jeremy grant so the hawks make the finals without trey kobe bufkin dejounte Lori, sadiq bay kelly Oubre, aj griffin akongwu jeremy grant this team's good not good enough we go up 1-0 we go up 2-0 we go up 2-1 3-1 and we lose two games in the playoffs shea wins back-to-back -back finals mvps that's two rings in three years let's do one more for y'all man so the hawks make the finals and they get the first pick we also have the third pick in the draft bro so these draft picks really coming in crazy clutch as it looks like um we're probably gonna be trading for the first pick in the draft because why not wow they don't want to give up i'll give pick seven too as we get it done with pick seven and all them other picks as we have pick one and three in the draft 
So we could go get a super stud with picks one and three. We could get a super max player as a top player in the league. And Joel Embiid is not untouchable. And why the fuck would I not go try to go at and get Joel Embiid? He's right there. Can we make the money work? I'll give you MPJ. I'll give you. I'll give you. I'll uh, give you Poku. Y'all want Poku? Y'all want Poku and pick one? Bang! We get that as we do Joel Embiid. We get Joel Embiid. Wow. It's the first pick in the draft. As Embiid is on this team now. As this is not to actually draft with the third pick. As we get a 77 overall. As Joel regresses down two actually. Which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, but he's still a 92 overall. Look at this fucking team y'all. Alright y'all. So this would be the rotation if nothing happened. Um... We have Embiid, we have Chet as our sixth man. We still have Vando. As why not make it all go full circle? We can bring back J-Dub in this deal. Move J-Dub to the small forward. Yeah, this team is gross, man. This team is gross. I'm actually gonna run this nine, man, for year four. So this is the rotation going into the third, fourth, and final year. Shea, Ant, Giddy, Scotty, Embiid, Chet, Vando, J-Dub, and Kesa Wallace. I'm going to see y'all at the trade deadline. Y'all, year four is a wrap. like to see Scoot Blazers fans. Yo, Scoot, MVP, there you go. Uh, I ain't even going to try. A uh, sir, Giannis, a uh, sir, Michael Stafford. You see we dropped from 70 games to 66 game, which is cool, which is cool. And no all-NBA teams as this was the drop-off year. Hopefully, we can still go win a ring. Three rings in four years would be kind of dope. Check the player stats real quick. Yeah, there you go. Embiid averaged 13 points a game. Embiid averaged 13 points a game, y'all. That's how stacked we are, man. That's how stacked we are. All right, y'all. Spurs in the first round. Let's just go sim the playoffs, see what happens. We win round one. We win round two. We win, we win the conference finals. Charlotte in the finals. Mello, Kyrie, Brendan Miller. The team's kind of stacked. Win game one. They win game two, three, four. We win in six. Game seven. We win in seven games. Shea is your finals MVP in year four. Take a look at the league history, man. You see it right here. Past champions, three out of the four years. Thunder are your three-time champion. Shea, three times finals MVP, Hall of Famer, top point guard of all time for sure. Final roster, man. Take a look at the final roster. If y'all enjoyed this rebuild video, man, and y'all want more rebuild videos like this, man, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, man. We really trying to do it out here, man. If y'all mess with these rebuilds, man, keep watching, man. Turn the post notifications on. We make YouTube shorts to these every single day. Keep showing love to these videos, man. It keeps getting me motivated to doing them. I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one, man. Peace out.